All right, this is from at MSU Hitman. Will the PS4 slash Xbox One slash Wii U slash Switch era of games be worth anything in 20 years, plus if they are the last generation of physical games? That's <laughs> true. Um, interesting question, and I, especially when you put it that way. Um, I mean, I, I do think that there is a if chance... If they are the last generation. Yeah, if. Well, I mean, hypothetical. If they are the last generation of physical games, I think there is going to be some allure attached to them that was not that is not attached to, say, something more middle-of-the-road like uh, PlayStation 2. You know, uh, that was uh, everywhere and, you know, you, you can find anywhere. Um, I think there will be a nostalgia uh, attached to what is seen as the last physical media for uh, console gaming. I also hmm. think that, yes, you will definitely see um, PS4... I mean, some combination of these systems will have games that will definitely be worth money in 20 years. Um when I say, and I think I can maybe speak a little bit for Pat here, when we say that we don't necessarily see the same market for collecting this generation of stuff as, as we do uh, what we consider retro, that doesn't mean that you, you aren't going to find games that people want to collect or games that can be worth something. It just means maybe the entire library won't be as uh, desired as a whole, but there are already games from you know, Atlas and limited run games and stuff for these systems that are, oh, are sure. fairly pricey, you know, so there are going to be things that will be worth money in 20 yeah. years. Then again, I, I would state just my last thing is I always say this is 20 years for a game to go from the $60 MSRP that you bought it to, even if it were to become worth $2,000 is not exactly a, Awesome investment with great returns, but but it's few and far between between, between the ones that devalue. Yeah, think about the majority of eight and sixteen bit games. The vast majority are not worth the MSRP of sixty when they came out. Oh no, uh, but that's majority. what that's what I'm saying. I'm saying oh. even if you do get one that's worth something, it's not I said, worth you it, buying a yeah. hundred that went or worth a dollar. Yeah, you know, or or be worth a dollar. How many Wii games twenty years from now be worthless? It's pretty easy to walk into a, a GameStop right now, I would say, and look at like a PS4 selection and look at and pick out the games that are going to have sold less copies in the future and be like, it's pretty yeah. easy to uh, speculate on that shit. But you're not. I mean, it's not going to be worthwhile in no. the long run. The money uh, you would make from it. I do disagree slightly that I don't think games will be worth more just because they're perceived as the last time they were physical games. I don't think that's going to matter at all. It's going to be an odd sort to say, well, that random Switch game, that was the last time Nintendo had physical media, so I'm going to buy that Switch game. I don't see that happening. Mm. I, I see there being an affinity for collections of games in terms of sets of, like, oh, I want all the Metroid games, or I want all the Nintendo maybe first-party games that were released on each system, so I'll go after those. I definitely don't see there being completionist collectors to the degree there are now, or even large sets of people. Um, going for do you pr honestly see anyone 20 years now saying I want to get every Xbox One game in physical form do you honestly see many people giving a shit about that I think we're I think that the allure of physical media in general is dying quickly not even slowly kids now are growing up without any physical media yeah so um, the allure is going to be so limited in 20 years to a kid growing up now with an Xbox One where maybe he has one physical game and has 25 digital games because he just downloads them because, oh, it's convenient. Well, it also gets it also gets murky once you get into, uh, like, Xbox 360 and PS3 and systems that had games that were download only. Sure. And that were exclusive to that system, you know, where, you know, but anyways. You see what I'm saying, though? I, um, I think the allure is going to be less and less for physical media because it, no one... No one is looking for DVDs anymore in stores, really. Right. I think, and I think that's something that Blu-ray's dying out even. Don't necessarily get is when we say that the collectors aren't going to be there, it's not necessarily because interest in video games or even historical interest in video games isn't going to be there. And I'm not even trying to play old man and say that they're not is <laughs> interesting, but, but the idea of physical media and the attachment to physical media just isn't being bred into younger generations no uh I, I was talking to i forgot who it was talking about uh getting out a nintendo cartridge and putting it into a console to play it and, and the and the, the son are just looked at the dead like, like what are you doing like why can't we just play the game right like, what do you like why is there a console 
and something else you're putting. It's, that's a foreign idea to a next generation. Just sure. the same way cable TV is a foreign idea to kids growing up. Yeah. Like, we are the la- like uh, out there, we are the last generation to experience a lot of stuff. Like, that's not old man. That's absolute truth in terms of how kids are coming up nowadays. You know, especially if you consider us the, the oldest millennials, post millennials absolutely will have little little reason to want to collect physical media, in my opinion. I mean, we'll see. We'll see, though. But I think that's what we're trending at. 